How's it going guys, Sharkblocks here. So you guys might remember the Dynamodes Bandolier. So basically what this was, was a event prize and it's basically this strap that goes around your body and it's got three sticks of TNT on it. So if you guys didn't know, Roblox actually completely removed this off the website. And if you did own it previously, they would have updated it to the Power Cell Bandolier. So um, yeah, kind of annoying. As you can see, this guy says, rest in peace, um, Bomb Belt. You'll be dearly missed by dark comedians like me. So Roblox do not want this on the website um obviously for like dark reasons if you know what i mean but they actually updated it to the power cell bandolier now i thought it'd be interesting what happens if we try and get this back on the website what happens if we take this change it into a t-shirt and then try to re-upload it are roblox going to ban it again or are they going to allow us to have it because this is not on the website at all anymore so it'd be pretty interesting to see if we can get it back I'm actually on the new Roblox account, which I'm going to be using for these types of videos. It's just called Shark Blocks. So if you guys want to add it, um, the O is actually a zero, just so I could get the name. So if you guys want to add it, send it a friend request. I will be accepting some random friend requests on here. Right now we've got 169. So let's just accept some random ones. And um, there you go. I can't actually accept most of them because most people actually have their full friends list. But there you go. Let's just accept some random ones. Yeah, you guys send a friend request and you never know, I might actually just accept it. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go into Roblox Studio because we need to edit this character. Right guys, so on Roblox Studio, I've now imported this character and I've changed it all to white. Now you're probably wondering why. This is so it's easier to take out the um, bandolier and what I will be able to do is edit it in something and I will be able to change it into a t-shirt. So here's the character, completely white. What we're gonna try and do is zoom in at the best so we can get the best angle on the bandolier so we can change it into a t-shirt. So I think probably that is quite a good angle. I will be able to change it into a t-shirt from here. Um, if you're using Windows, there's actually something really cool you can do. If you hold Windows key Shift and S at the same time, it's going to bring up this kind of like um, capture tool. And what we can do is actually capture the bandolier in a picture so we can go and edit it. So I think we're just gonna crop it about there. That seems perfect. And I'll click off and there you go. We've now copied this as a picture. So let's just go into something let's just paste in the picture in a powerpoint and what we can actually do is save this image and we will be able to edit it in something so i'm just going to right click save image as i'm just going to save it in one of my downloads folders and then i will be able to open this with paint so here it is here's the one i tested out earlier i'll be trying both and seeing which one looks better but let's just right click and open with paint.net now once we're in paint.net, we can actually begin editing it. So I'm going to use this tool right here just to highlight sections and just delete them out just to make the cropping a bit easier. So I'm just going to delete just like a ton of stuff in here just so I can actually edit this thing a lot easier. And now what we're going to do is just get the magic wand tool, which is this one right here. We're going to select all the white parts and just use the tolerance up here just to get it about right. And then we're just going to press delete on the keyboard and we can actually remove the white areas which we do not need. So let's just get rid of this, get rid of that little bit there, get rid of the blue and the blue bit here as well. And this white section, maybe just up the tolerance a bit. Maybe slightly less actually. Maybe just like that. Get rid of this gray bit as well. If I can select it. And then this bit here. Okay, so there you go. Now it's looking a bit more realistic. Let's just take out this. We also need to draw in the wicks because they are actually kind of like got deleted, I guess, with that. So let's just go over with a paintbrush tool and just kind of put them back in. It doesn't have to be that accurate. I reckon this will still probably look quite good um, when we actually go to wear it. So there you go. And now we need one more. Let's just make this one, just improve it a bit. So just put a bit more shadow on it, I guess. And there you go, let's take a look at that. There are the three wicks and there is the bandolier looking pretty good. So what we're going to do, we're going to just click on the cross and then just click on save. Just click on okay. And we can now just copy this. So back in PowerPoint again, you can see we've got the old one and now we've got a brand new one and you can see where it would have been and um, yeah so what we're going to do we're actually going to import a t-shirt template so we can resize this down and get it just about right so here i have the motorcycle t-shirt template now this is the correct size for the roblox torso so what i'm going to do is just crop this down a bit just so we can pretty much fit it on here and get it looking right so let's just put that bit there then it's going to come up like this um, we might actually have to maybe draw a bit on actually. I'm not too sure how this is going to look. It's going to look really interesting. 
Um, how are we going to do this? We might have to just paste in a bit. Okay, so I think this probably is the right size, but what I'm going to have to do is draw in the extra bits in paint.net. So as soon as it's the exact same size, I'm just going to right click, save image as, and let's just save this again, and then I will be able to edit it. So let's just zoom in, let's just zoom up all the way over to here. And what we're actually going to do is just kind of like highlight the edge here and we can actually just start drawing this in. So maybe just follow this line up to the top a bit. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate because I'm not actually sure how this is going to end up looking. And now what we can do is actually just get the clone tool. Let's just make it a bit bigger. Um, hold control and click and now we can just start kind of like cloning this this like texture in whatever this weird texture is and hopefully it might start to look okay Right, so here you go. So if you think that looks terrible, there's actually one thing left we can actually do. If we just get this box tool right here and just select the areas which we actually modified, what we can actually do is just blur it a bit. So it kind of like fills in and just doesn't look as messy. So let's just try and select as much of it as we can. It doesn't have to be that accurate. What we're gonna do is go to effects up here, um, go to blurs, go to motion blur, and maybe just up this a tiny bit just so it looks a bit smoother, maybe something like that. And there you go, now it's looking a lot better. Of course you will need to kind of like tidy up the edges a bit, just with a paint tool, like a really small one. Just like fill in these parts, just click it a few times. And there you go, that's probably looking quite good. So I think what we're going to do now, let's save this, maybe try and upload it on Roblox and see if they allow it or if they just say, sorry you can't upload this. Okay guys, so let's just go ahead and try it. Is my account going to get banned with a playful vampire on? It's a bit of a risk. I've already got one of them banned with a playful vampire on. That was like 5,000 Robux down the drain, so that was good. So let's try it and see if we can lose another 5,000 Robux. So let's just go into crate, go into t-shirts, and let's upload it and see what Roblox say. So if we just go into choose file right here, images, now there's this one this is the complete one i resized it got it looking quite nice let's just click on open i think we'll just call it complete because roblox might not know and let's just click on upload and look that is my sharkbox logo from 2017 some people say oh, i've been subscribed to you since 2015 2016 no i've only had this channel since 2017 so yeah don't try and say that but there you go it's been uploaded <sighs> are we gonna get banned or are Roblox going to allow it? That would be really cool. And if they do, I will put it on my Discord server so you guys can go and get it and upload it for yourself because obviously this is a really rare item right now. So I have no idea what's going on right now. I've been waiting for so long, like well over half an hour and I haven't even checked it yet. So it's really late. So what I'm going to do is go to sleep and I will come back tomorrow and either my account will be like banned or I'll get like a banning message or they would have uploaded it. So that'd be interesting. So I will be back tomorrow and we will see if they have allowed it or not. Right guys, so it's the next day. It's been quite a while. Let's see if Roblox have accepted my t-shirt. So let's go over to my avatar and take a look. It should be, oh, here it is, complete. Yes, Roblox did actually allow it. So that is really cool. That is how you get the bandolier back in 2019 after it has been banned. So as you can see, it does actually look pretty good. Obviously, it's not the real hat. But um, it's the closest you can get to it because Roblox do not allow the hat on the website anymore. So if you were missing it or you thought it looked cool on your avatar, you can actually get this. Now I guess you could make it into a shirt as well. So it's like even more 3D if you wanted to. You can take this template and just like draw the band the whole way around um, if you really want to. But let's go into a game and let's see what it looks like in a game. So here we are guys on Sword Fights on the Heights and check it out, it actually looks pretty good. So I'm pretty impressed with that. It came out a bit better than I actually expected. So if you guys would like to get a copy of this, it will be available for download on my Discord server. So if you guys join my server, I will leave a link to it in the description of this video and I will probably put it in the comments as well. If you look at the left hand side, you just want to scroll all the way down and we're looking for free accessories. Once you click on this, you will be able to find it. So you can click on open original, you can save it as an image and then you will be able to upload it to Roblox and wear it on your avatar. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.